Well, the number of Canadians living with diabetes is on the rise, with some turning to daily insulin injections to control their blood glucose levels. Now, researchers at the University of British Columbia have created a needle-free method that could change the way people manage the disease. And here to share more is Dr. Shidhar Lee from UBC. Good morning, Dr. Lee. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Fascinating. 11.7 million Canadians, a third of the population, is living with diabetes or pre-diabetes. Do you know about how many of those would require insulin injections to manage their disease? Yeah, we know at least the type 1 diabetic patients will definitely need insulin. And uh, many of those uh, type 2 diabetes, they don't uh, produce enough uh, insulin in their body to help them or their body uh, develop it insulin resistance. Mm -hmm. So those will need extra dose of insulin to help them control their blood sugar. So injections are typically the, the best way for people to get their insulin in their bodies, but you've developed something completely different. These are drops. What inspired your research and how long did it take your team to get it right? Yeah, we started working on this project maybe three years ago. Um, it all started with basic research that we wanted to deliver a larger molecule into the cells to study biological outcomes. And also thanks to the public funding to support our basic research. Um, so for that, we have to uh, screen many, many different uh, so-called cell penetrating peptides that can bring uh, you know, larger molecules into cells. And then we develop a, uh, we discovered a, a very unique peptide called cell penetrating peptide. It's actually a byproduct from fish uh, that is able to open up cells, allowing larger molecules to pe penetrate. Wow. So later on, we thought, well, maybe this could be a game changer. Game to changer. Help, yeah, to help insulin absorption. Uh, through uh, the wet surface under our tongue. In a different way. And you yep. brought a little bit in. I'm just going to get a yep. shot of this this morning. This is a vial of the drops. How many drops would someone need to take uh, if they were trying to manage their disease through dro drops as opposed to a shot of insulin? Right. So, so right now, this is a, a whole bottle of uh, insulin dose we prepared. Um, so usually, uh, you know, according to... Uh, the, the regular dose people will get uh, is likely just going to be one drop or two for most of patients. But of course, some patients might need more uh, mm -hmm. according to, to their blood glucose level. How effective is are, are the drops compared mm -hmm. to an insulin shot? Yeah, so in our preclinical model, we found that uh, the, the onset, meaning uh, how, how fast the, the, the medicine works, uh, it's almost the same as the injection, so it, it works instantly. So there's no time difference there whatsoever. So could we see like an oral pill or oral drops eventually replacing insulin shots altogether? Yeah, that's what we are hoping for. We are working really hard uh, to scale down, uh, meaning uh, to make larger doses, clinical grade uh, doses of this insulin drop. And uh, we are doing more and more uh, tests in uh, preclinical models in larger scales to validate the safety and uh, uh, efficacy. And uh, we are hoping that in two years we will be able to test it in human. So testing it in, in two years, yeah. and then potentially how long after that could this be something that patients could have access to? Yeah, so if everything goes smoothly, we are hoping that this product will be available in five years. In five years. Well, it would be a game changer for a lot of people who do rely on injections. Think about when you're in public and when you need to um, have that insulin injection to be able to just take a drop or a pill, how yes. much easier that would be in people's lives. Are, yes. are you hearing this anecdotally from people about how it would change their lives? Yeah, so we have received many, many different emails just expressing um, their gratitude and excitement mm. that how this is uh, pending, pending out. Well, it's absolutely fascinating. I'm sure a lot of people will be watching and see how those trials are going. Dr. Lee, thank you so much for joining us in studio and congratulations. I hope it goes really well for you. Thank you. All right, thank you.